as we remind ourselves on the team, our goal is not merely to be above average and outperform the market. The goal is very much to beat the best performers in the market. And to that end, our valuation discipline adds the extra few crucial percentage points to our performance that sets the team apart. So valuation is very, very crucial element to decision making. Uh, however, I would add that we do not look at, the team does not look at PE multiples at all or EV EBITDA multiples. Those are distorted, misleading, and harmful to use. Uh, we may analyze and invest and own companies for years without ever talking about such multiples on the team. What the team focuses on instead is cash flow based approach, DCF value and cash flow multiples as derived from our proprietary framework, if you will, what we call Opco Finco framework. To quickly walk through this, any company XYZ or ABC, the team splits into two entities for analytical purpose, Finco and Opco. The fixed assets and working capital are assigned to the Finco, revenue EBITDA assigned to the Opco, from which uh, it, it is deemed to pay a fixed asset rental cost or operating lease cost and a working capital financing cost. And after paying tax to the government, what is left is basically excess ROIC related free cash flow. Um, and the present value of such free cash flows is nothing but the value of excess ROIC in the business. Whereas the Finco is nothing but the invested capital in the business. So this is a very simple framework, no robotic science here, a simple, simple framework using well-established finance principles, uh, but aligning them with our philosophy uh, into a framework that is very useful for assessing value and for decision-making. We split, as you'll see in the bottom box, top equation, we split the enterprise value into its two key components, invested capital plus value of excess ROIC. Hence, this approach quantifies the value of excess ROIC. Rather than saying a XYZ company is a high ROIC company, so I'll pay any PE multiple for it. This quantifies the value of high ROIC and only pays appropriate uh, and attractive valuation because not, there's not just one company that has high ROIC. There's an ample number of opportunities and companies that have excess ROIC. So my, it's it would be you know, beneficial and profitable to invest only in those that are attractively valued as well. So this bottom equation shows the price to excess ROIC multiple that we look at. So rather than PE multiple, what we focus on is price to excess ROIC multiple, which is nothing but the value of OPCO divided by the cash flow, the excess ROIC free cash flow of any given year at the OPCO, which we can, you know, derive from the previous equation, the numerator we can derive from the previous equation. 